Alright, so I don't really know how to start this video because this has never really happened to me, but this is an intro to an intro. Basically a re-upload of my last Creation Club video because for those of you who didn't see it, my last Creation Club video has actually been deleted off YouTube because of violence or something like that. I don't really know. Essentially, I was giving a warning, which is the first step before receiving a strike. And again, this has never ever happened to me. I've never received a strike on YouTube. I've never received a warning, never anything like that. But essentially in my last Creation Club video, I referenced the 2016 Killer Clans and showed a funny clip from a YouTube channel called Cowshop of a clown getting beaten up on the ground for like literally two seconds. Like the dude got hit like twice and it was just a funny little clip. For some reason, YouTube somehow saw that and like they, their robot that, I don't know, uh, uh, scans the internet or some shit for bad videos thought that it was a really bad one and said this was too much violence that they had to delete the video. Now, you guys are probably as confused as I am. I appealed it. And clearly they didn't check the appeal, they don't care, and they just said no. It, it, it's too violent. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> but basically, yeah, I thought I'd just re-upload the video. Um, for those of you who didn't see, again, it got like 200 views, so this is very upsetting, but I'd re-upload it for those of you who didn't see the latest Creation Club update and again just explain to you what happened why the video is no longer on youtube i'll have a full video hopefully coming out a little bit after this one just giving more of my thoughts on how stupid and retarded i think this actually is again if you think a dude getting hit twice is violence geez i, I don't even know what youtube would think Jake Paul versus Anderson Silva was classified as, or any boxing match for that matter in general. Why? I, I, I don't get it. I'm not sure, but I thought I'd just make this little intro to kind of say, well, what has happened? Why it got deleted? This and that. Again, I am now officially on a warning, which is pretty funny. But yeah, I thought I'd just show you guys the Creation Club video for those of you who didn't see it. So yes, if you're wondering why you think you have saw this video before, you probably have. This is a re-upload from yesterday's video. It just got deleted because YouTube hates me, apparently. I don't know. But yeah, whatever I do, here's the intro to the intro to my new deleted Creation Club video. It's honestly still, like, hasn't sunk in fully that the Creation Club has been revived and that Bethesda have confirmed they will be updating it in 2023 and adding a bunch of new content to the Creation Club. Again, if you haven't seen my video on that, I do highly recommend you guys go and do it. Sorry. Oh, gee whiz. I'm that excited, as you can tell. <laughs> I don't know if I'll be linking in the description down below. The playlist will for sure be there for the Creation Club, where you can go check out the newest video. That has Bethesda confirming a new update coming next year. And for the time being, Bethesda continue to update the Creation Club and up, you know, add new content and, well not necessarily new content, but a ton of new discounts for you guys to potentially even get multiple stuff for free, stuff for 50% off, stuff for 75% off, all the discounts you could ever want, Bethesda have been adding to Fallout 4's Creation Club and today is no exception, we have a new update and there are a couple of really cool ones that they have discounted, so I guess without further ado, let's just get straight into it. Alright, here we are on the Atomic... On the Atomic Child, what the, what the fuck am I talking about? On the Creation Club, and it wouldn't be a Creation Club update near Halloween if they didn't discount the pint size slash, and that's exactly what we've got right here, which I'll of course be talking about in a second. First thing we have, though, is the anti-material rifle, 75% off. Dude, they're giving these things away like hotcakes. 400 down 100. In life, are our actions predetermined? Is our fate sealed? Or are we mere puppins to a pre-ordered destiny? And really, does it matter if we end up with a devastatingly powerful anti-material rifle? A rifle created by Stefan. Yeah, again, this is pretty tight, I'm not gonna lie. What I actually really like about this one as well is I'm pretty sure this does affect 
vanilla Fallout. Like, you can find dudes, I'm pretty sure, around the wasteland, you know, having these things wherever people in Fallout keep their shit. Uh, has anyone ever thought about that? Like, I'll be carrying around, like, my 600-pound life type of carry weight, and I'll just whip it out of my cock or some shit and just start blasting fools with it. Where are people keeping it? Oh, I'm just... I'm getting off topic. I think you can also find modified versions and all that type of stuff in Diamond City, etc., which are really, really cool. So again, that's definitely there. 400 down to 100. I would recommend... I would recommend getting nearly any of these because they're cheap as piss. So yeah, definitely recommend. 75% off the pint size slasher. It's Halloween time. They're getting ready. The Killer Clown is coming out. Again, every time I say Killer Clown, reminds me of 2016 when I would drive by playing Pokemon Go and there'd be a clown there ready to put something up my asshole. Thanks Bethesda for this. 75% off, 400 down to 100. Who hasn't heard the story of the pint sized slasher? The tiny terror of suburbia. That's what they used to call me. Even though I'm not very tall, they still... Yeah, I guess they still kind of call me the tiny terror of suburbia. Yeah, um, anyway. Whether it's the frightful clam mask or a signature chef's knife, having become one of the more popular legends in America folklore, some believe the pint-sized slasher is only a myth, though the bodies tell a different story. So again, this is a... I can't say if it's a pretty cool one, because fun fact about the pint-sized slasher is I've never played it, but I have bought it. You're probably asking me, what do you mean have you bought this creation and you've just never played it? Are you special in the head? Do you just waste money on this shit and just leave it untouched? Look, I did that with Lego Star Wars, but I think a lot of people did. We all wasted 100 bucks on that game and just, even though it was pretty good, we, we just never played it ever again. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. But with this pine size slasher mod, I ended up playing the first five minutes of it and essentially I'm pretty sure you had to collect a coin. And on my PS4, the coin just wasn't showing up. And I found out on Reddit, you know, because everyone on Reddit has a, a great opinion. This shit's actually happening to people. Like, what the hell, man? Like, what? It was glitched from the start, but there's the never fixed it. I don't know what to think about it. I don't know if it's only a PS4 thing. I would imagine it's an every console thing. But yeah, it never got fixed. So, I've never played this pine size slasher one. Um, I'm not sure why the pint size slasher is white there and black there. Bro pulled on Michael Jackson and switched teams, which is really funny. Someone called me woke the other day in my comments. Did you think if I was woke, I'd be saying that type of shit? No. Cancel me. I fucking dare you. Anyway, moving on. Virtual Workshop, 80% off. This one is discounted every update, no matter what it is. And 80% off, 1,000 down to 200. Travel to new worlds from the comfort of your settlement. With the VR Workshop, transport yourself to a series of exotic landscapes such as a desert island and the iconic GNR Plaza from the capital wasteland. Featuring over 40 new craftable items, weather and music options, enemy spawns, near limitless settlement building, and four new worlds to choose from. Again, it's just a dope, it's a dope creation. What can I say? Except you're welcome. Thanks, Dwayne Johnson. What can I say except you're welcome? But yeah, there's a fair bit going on here. You get four new worlds to kind of summarize it up. Yeah, this one right here, which is of course the Capital Wasteland world. Very, very cool one. The GNR Plaza. You get to build on the iconic plaza. Really awesome. Then the next one right here and this one here is the Desert Island. Again, my fat ass, I'm pretty sure one time said Desert Island. It's not the Desert there's no ice cream, it's just sand. And like Anakin Skywalker, I don't like it. It's coarse, it's rough, and it gets everywhere. I don't like sand. It's coarse, and rough, and irritating, and it gets everywhere. I don't mind it though, I don't mind the desert island. I don't necessarily know if I'm that much of a fan of sand, but you get a lot of building and craftable items that you can turn into like a Hawaii themed type of adventure. And the desert island is huge. And again, you've got like, big ass build space you got like autumn full size titties of build space that's how big it is there's a lot going on here you also get this one which is like the children of adam crater thing where the bomb was of course dropped that's a pretty cool one as well the glowing sea is what it's called 
it's a fair bit of time to build on there, this and that, so it's kind of cool. And the last one you get is called Grid World, which they don't show a picture to because they know it's just absolute shit and boring. But yeah, Grid World is here as well. Don't know many people who ever use that, but it's there. Enjoy. Um, so that's it. We just got 100% off. I think everyone has this 100% off before. So it kind of does frustrate me a little bit that Bethesda chose this one as one of the ones to 100% off. They've done it before, before the 25th anniversary shit. So that's why I've got it installed right here. Do you think I'd buy this on choice? No, it was 100% off. But yeah, it says Vault Tech Customization. Behind every Vault suit is a number, and every number a story. Craft a jumpsuit to suit your story by choosing from a variety of different color and number combinations. When this came out, a lot of people were like, shit, this is law breaking. Damn, look at the cake on that mofo. Woo! And her, far out, bro. Nora, or whatever the fuck her name is, Dora the Explorer, is packing, man. Behind here, and so is this chick, packing. But yeah, a lot of people were like, this is law breaking. You can't color your stuff. But Bethesda were like, yes. Yes, you can. And then decide to do it. You can also change the numbers. It comes with the Vault uh, suit from Fallout 3 as well, which is kind of cool. And the Fallout 4 one. And yeah, you can even do all these different type of colors, which is kind of cool. It's pretty boring, though. There's not a whole lot going on here. It's more of a roleplay one. If you're big into that, you'll probably find a use for this. And again, find it pretty fun. So yeah, that's there. And then the last one, which is 100% off, down from 500 to 0. The new Coca-Cola Collector Workshop. Quench your thirst for interior design. Complete the PAX quest and unlock an all new house and full connection, or end a full connection rather, of Nuka Cola themed items. So again, you do get a lot of buildable stuff here, a lot of Nuka Cola themed stuff to build. I think some outfits as well. And you get like a Nuka Cola, you know, kind of joint to smoke weed at like Snoop Dogg. That's there as well. Again, I don't really like this one. I'm not that big of a fan of Nuka Cola. I'm not like that one chick from Nuka World who just like comes over the fact that it's a drink. I don't know. It's a it's a it's a drink that will give you diabetes, but she loves it. If it makes her happy, it makes her happy. I'm more of a Pepsi type of guy. Unfortunately, apparently Pepsi didn't last 200 years after the bombs dropped or whatever. So, yeah, I guess Nuka Cola will have to do. But yeah, that's that's all there. I definitely will probably not get this one because I just don't really care to be honest. But hey, if you guys would like a new player home, I guess, feel free to download this one. Because yeah, it's still, I heard, relatively decent. I mean, I've played it. Why am I saying I've heard? I've literally played it. It's decent. If you like player homes, it's cool. And if you like... Nuka Cola, I guess. I don't know. But of course, if you haven't already, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for all the latest Fallout content, Fallout news, gaming news, all of the above. Don't forget to comment your thoughts and opinions about what you guys think with the new Fallout 4 Creation Club update. Did you guys like it or did you guys not? Of course, I would definitely like to know. But as I was saying, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>